Hey everybody, it's Lori and Tammy of Team Cashy. How are you today? As promised, we are out here in our very first video chat series with new construction building uh, representative Marcos Natal. Marcos is one of the sales reps out here at Artistry. Which is one of our very favorites. favorites. He's we awesome. love him. He's and the super home, knowledgeable. Absolutely. Wait till you meet him. You'll totally understand what we're talking about. This model is called the Martin. It's fantastic. It is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go inside and check it out. And just so you know, this unit is for sale, completely turnkey furnished as you see it. It's listed for $1,169,000. So if you have interest, keep your eyes peeled and see what you might want to have. Real quick, let me just tell you too, Artistry is Bee Ridge East. So it's actually Palmer East. It is. So it between is. Um, Fruitville and Bee Ridge is Palmer. And um, it's East Off of the right. right. Yeah. Come on. Hi, Marcos. Hi, Marcos. Thank Hi. you. Welcome to the Martin model. Thank you. So we were just telling everybody that this is one of our absolute favorite models and it is for sale. Yes, it is. Okay. Totally turnkey furnished as you see it. Lights, curtains, table, Check chairs. out that ceiling treatment. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah. They've done so many different like cool features in here. Little extras with the ceilings and like everywhere. The wall treatments. Really different stuff. So come on in. Let's look around. So you've got the master over there to the right, and a wet bar. Powder room. Uh, What's in the front? What is, what is the square footage in here? This one is 4,163 square feet under air. 4,163. So okay. Three bedroom, four and a half bathrooms. Okay. It feels bigger than that. Absolutely. Yeah. Really. Ceilings yeah, are the, the high awesome. ceilings. Um, our ceilings are standard 11 foot four. Okay. That's in all the homes. Awesome. Okay. Dining so room is over here to the left. Okay, you already got that? And tell us about the lot sizes in here. So, yeah, there's, a, there's a few things that separate Coulter and make us different from other builders. Our home sites are 150 feet deep, as opposed to most builders are 120 feet. Wow, that's the other thing that you'll notice is uh, if you look outside, 90% of our home sites are on water. Gorgeous. So if you're looking for a water view. Um, most people in Florida are. are. Yeah. <laughs> and FYI, you can see sunsets from this particular property. We've been here at that time of day and it's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah the is gorgeous. Yep. Which is, again, the most coveted exposure because you've got sun on your pool all day long. Great outdoor kitchen in this particular property. Ample covered space because you might be able to tell this isn't our normal perfect sunny day in Florida. It's a little There's rainy. A little rain. But look, we're standing outside still enjoying this beautiful outdoor space because we do have the ample covered area. You can do a lot of cushions out here and not worry about ever them getting wet during a rainy day. You can tell us the doors and uh, windows here. These all feel very heavy when I went so to... On this model here, we do have the impact glass. Okay. Um, they are eight foot doors. So all the all the interior doors in our homes, is, every single home is gonna be eight foot interior. But then we also add the transom windows on the rear elevation. Okay. So every home has the transom on the rear elevation of the home. But what that does on a normal sunny day will allow the sunlight to penetrate further back into the home. Right. And in case you don't know, impact resistant glass means no hurricane showers. So you never have to worry about that. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Marcus, tell us about some of the special features about this particular kitchen. So this, this kitchen has uh, quartz countertops. We have a lot of uh, cabinet space in here. We have the GD monogram appliances, so this does have an upgraded appliance package. Well, this kitchen actually has one of my most favorite features. I've never, ever seen a wall oven like this before. And when I first came here, I thought it was the coolest thing. So it's a wall oven that opens like a French door, which I thought was just super cool. And it's a gas community, gas community, which everybody loves that. If you're a chef, absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Um, there's also a nice bonus space over here. I think Lori and Marcos are going to take you over there. Yeah, I love this room. I love the way you have it set up. But obviously, this could be used in so many different ways, right? I mean, this could be... 
Yeah, if you're looking to build, this room could be an option for a fourth bedroom. Okay, fourth bedroom. Uh, off, well, the office is up front, so really it's a bonus room or fourth bedroom. So right now we use it as a pullover room. There's Love a it. cabana bath there, full bath, yes. and then an entrance so to the outside or exit to the outside. Yeah, and I, if you take a look over here, they've got the barn doors, which are really so cool. I love the design, the decor in here. Whoever did it, did an awesome job. Yeah, they did. They did an amazing job. Yeah. Do you have the same interior designers for all of them? For all the models. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is super cool. And hey, remember, if you want to buy this house, this pool table comes with it. Oh, does it? It does. Everything. Yeah. Full yeah. Of Everything. Furniture. Everything. Every piece, yeah. Every yeah. piece yep. of furniture in here. All the finishes. Okay, so we have a couple of questions for you. We okay. had told our the viewers that we were going to have our top five most important questions that you should ask the builder. Yep. You want to have a seat? Yes, yeah, sure. And we'll go check it out? Let's go. Okay. This is such a great entertaining house. Like, I could just see having a huge party in here. Got so many different spaces. Okay, Marcos. So, Tell us a little bit about the history of the builder. So the builder here obviously is Coulter Homes. So Coulter Homes is uh, somewhat new to the area. Artist Street is the first community, residential community here in Sarasota. And Artist Street's three years old. Okay. Uh, we have Crestwind, which is a 55 plus community in Lakewood Ranch. Which is awesome too, by the way. Crestwind maybe we'll get up great. there. Yeah, maybe yeah. we can get up yeah. there next yeah, be because good, yeah. Um, yeah, they, they've got some really, and they're smaller though. They're a little bit smaller. Some of the models are still the same, but okay. yeah, it's a little bit different. The okay. same style, same concept. Uh, but Coulter in Sarasota has built a lot of high rises. So downtown uh, Coulter built the Westin, the Buell, the Ritz, the Mark. Some uh, of your favorite Bowl. places to go. Absolutely. Yeah. Rooftop bars. Yes, rooftop bars yep. for a happy hour. Those are all Coulter products. So Coulter's awesome. you know, a big builder. It's just a residential. We're new to the area. Yeah, see, I, I had no idea. But you're, do they do a lot of stuff in Miami too? We have some high rises downtown Miami, downtown Miami. one St. Pete okay. is a Coulter product, oh, okay. um, but residential areas uh, also throughout Florida, um, along the East Coast, Orlando, the land area. Okay, okay. Awesome. awesome. Um, number two, most important question you should ask whenever you come to new construction, if I sign a contract now, today, how long is it going to take for completion of my home? So uh, typically we're eight months from contract. Uh, right now, we have not seen a delay in that, so we're still looking at eight months from the date of contract. Okay. Um, so it's but we are, dur problem. during this COVID-19 situation, everybody needs to remain a little bit flexible and fluid, I'm Correct. sure. Things, yeah, you know, you don't know knows. what's going to happen. Understand yep. the supply chain, could maybe see a small little hiccup. Delay, so yeah. Don't, don't be too stressed out and just <clears throat> try to relax and breathe through the process. Yeah, yeah. but around eight months. Around eight months. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see, how long do you project this neighborhood will take to be built out? So right now we're anticipating four to five years. Four to five from years. Today. From today. Okay. So we have, um, we have 127 homes sold right now. Okay. Uh, out of 500 total. Okay. okay. And we're currently working on a new phase, which will be ready hopefully September or October. Awesome. Oh, cool. So okay. that's going to be exciting home sites back there. So new phase, is it going to be similar? Um, it's all going to be single family, right? Correct. Okay. And similar, these same models will same, be offered? Same models will be offered. Okay. But just new lots? Uh, Okay. Um, but those, those home sites will have um, woods and water, so you're going to get the best of both. Right, preserve. If you want privacy, yeah. you'll, you'll get that on those home sites. Okay, great. Um, here's probably, I don't know, this probably should have been the number one most important question, and yeah. I really wasn't like putting them in order. But what are the fees here, and what do the fees include, and is there a CDD? Because everybody here is very concerned about CDDs. It stands for Community Development District. It's an extra fee. Yeah. Do you have a CDD? We do not. So that's one of the great things wow. about our industry. So no CDD fee. That's great. Um, our HOA fee, we're, as of January 1st, we're a zero maintenance community. Okay, so great. So your landscaping is taken care of by the HOA. And uh, it's three twenty seven for our portrait collection a okay. month, three seventy two a month for the watercolor collection. Is this the watercolor this collection? This is the watercolor collection okay, that so we're in. Three, either way, under four hundred dollars a month Correct. to take care of all of your landscape, everything that's outside. You're remulching twice a year, landscaping, exterior pest control, okay. use of the clubhouse, um, the gated entrance, all that's covered on the plan. That's okay. So what all is at the clubhouse? So at the clubhouse, we have a, a resort style pool. We have an amazing fitness center. Um, a sport court with basketball and pickleball, and then we have a tot lot there. Awesome, great. Okay, great. Great. so you're amenity rich at under four hundred dollars a month. Correct. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, well, those I think were probably our biggest questions. Was that five or was that four? 
I don't know. It was three. <laughs> um, I have four. History of the builder. If I sign now, how long the, will the neighborhood go and what are the fees? Here's, here's the other thing we want to talk about, price spread in the lots. So what does it cost for a, do you have a standard lot? Because down here in, in Florida, in most of the developments, you're paying for a base price for a house and then you've got the price for the lot. So tell me. So our, our premium, so right now we have two home sites that are zero premium. Okay. Uh, one for each collection, so one for the watercolor, one for the portrait. Okay. And then um, from there we go up to 75,000. Okay, so a lot like this or something like on water. So the, the lot that's next door to this one mm -hmm. is 50,000. Okay. But we have bigger home sites that are still in the water for 30,000. We have some that are down to 5,000 on the water. So it just depends on location of the community okay. and what the price would be. But our watercolor collection, uh, again, our home sites are all 150 feet deep. The watercolor collection is unique because it's 92 feet wide by 150. Portrait is gonna be 65 wide by 150. Okay, so 92 wide is a pretty wide It's a nice lot. It's a nice lot. Um, so what would the Martin start at? I, I had mentioned that the price on this property, as you see it, is 1,169,000? Correct. Today, so what if you just wanted to build a Martin? What would you start at? So the base price on the Martin is six hundred seventy-eight thousand nine hundred ninety. That's the base, and then typically our homeowners are spending between fifteen and twenty-five percent on top of the base in the upgrades. Oh, that was one of my other questions. That was one of the other. So maybe yeah. it's the top six. I don't know. Top six question. Yeah. How, much, six. how much are people generally spending in upgrades? Because you come into a model like this, this home probably has everything. That this the one, uh, I think, has. Close to four hundred thousand in upgrades, or a little more. That's a lot. If you figure the base price is six, and they put four in upgrades, so that's a whole lot of bells and whistles. Which is why they do it, so they can show everything that the builder can do. Right, Correct. and you can but, pick what you want to put in your house. Maybe I want the high baseboard. Maybe I want the you know detail in the ceilings. Maybe I don't. Maybe I could do without it, and I would rather spend my money somewhere else. Correct, and we in our show we have a showroom on site, so we allow you to personalize a home uh, as much as you want or as little as you want. Great. Okay. Okay. Awesome. One more thing I have for you. Is there anything right now that Coulter is doing to try to spur people to take the take the dive in? Because I know things are just a little hesitant. I think a lot of people are sort of on the fence about what they're doing. Is there, are you offering anything special? So there, there's two things that we're doing. So number one, um, we were, prior to, to uh, COVID-19, we were requiring a 10% deposit on home, home site, and elevation. We've now cut it in half to 5%. Oh, wow. Um, on your your upgrades, we were requiring 25%. We have now cut it to 10%. Okay. The other thing that we're doing is um, a $25,000 design center allowance. Nice. So wow. we're giving an allowance now to spend a little bit more. That's in fantastic. Your homes. That's very generous and can really get somebody. So maybe you thought, geez, I've got to sell my house first before I can move forward with Coulter or feel confident doing so. But with this reduction and what it costs you to get in the door, maybe it's time for some people to get off the fence and make a purchase. Absolutely. Correct, and, that, and that's a good point that you made about um, having to sell your home. So remember Artistry or Coulter, we offer a home to sale contingency. Oh, you so do? For $5,000 down, we'll lock in the home price and the home site for 180 days. Oh, I had no idea That's of that. Great. great. I didn't know that. We have a we have a buyer who I know would like to take advantage of that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Fantastic. Right now we have uh, six homeowners that are under contract under contract in that. In that yeah. Yes. Yay, that's yeah. great news. That's really good to yeah. know. Thank you yep. for sharing that. All right. Well, All right. Thanks for meeting with us. Yeah. Today. Thank, thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the tour, yeah. and um, we look forward to talking to everybody again soon.